hello and welcome to a vlog it is tuesday i'm going to an event this evening we're going to a dodgers game with my partner's work first we're going to stop at a little pub slash brewery type situation to meet up with some people um and then walk up to dodger stadium uh yeah i'm looking forward to it but i'm gonna get dressed and show you what i'm wearing so much effort for a not very impactful outfit but <laughs> here it is um i did my best i tried so hard not to wear my leather jacket and my wide leg black jeans and i did it um i think i must have tried on like five different outfits but here we go blue shirt <laughs> um it's a cotton long sleeve i really like the cut of it you can't really tell but it has these like nice big um drop shoulders and then for a layer, instead of bringing my leather jacket, I just have a black hoodie that I've tied diagonally across my body. And then a little fanny pack. These are my boyfriend's jeans. Well, they're mine now. They are from DSTLD, a um, couple sizes too big for me, which I really like. I've cuffed them. And then some really dirty white canvas high tops from ASOS. Since we're going to a Dodgers game, I wanted something that was you know, like people are spilling beer and like dropping fries and ketchup everywhere. So I didn't want to wear anything too nice. Um, and we're also walking a good bit to get there. So I wanted something comfortable and I think I nailed it. You know, I'm gonna clean my mirror really quick because I noticed last week that it needed to be dusted and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, much better. Um, I have such a funny thing about mirrors where I will clean everything in my house and then forget to clean all of the mirrors. Anyway, uh, long sleeve pocket tee, it's men's from Uniqlo, 100% cotton, nice boxy in the body and then really nice tight cuffs um, and neck so I really like the way that this fits super comfortable it's kind of long uh, it comes down to about I'm trying to feel for the bottom of the hem it comes down to about here so um, it's fine to wear untucked but today I have it tucked into these jeans because I like the waist detail and then these are jeans from Mons. They are secondhand. I got them on the real real. They're one of my most favorite pairs of pants. I wear these a ton because they're extremely comfortable and surprisingly really easy to style. Low effort, high impact. That's precisely what these jeans are. I'm having one of those days today where I feel like nothing I say is very interesting, <laughs> um, which is fine. It happens sometimes. And uh, part of me doesn't want to come on the camera and say inane stuff for no reason but another part of me knows that if i skip a day of vlogging i will lose my stride so um this is uh maybe for the other creatives out there sometimes like you know we get in these weird sort of like blocks or or ruts or whatever and um i'm very much a fan of the like show up with what you have so whenever I don't feel particularly inspired, it's kind of easy to make something about how I don't feel inspired. And even though it's not necessarily like top tier content, um, it is an accurate reflection of life <laughs> and it is an exercise I can do to keep the creative juices going even when I feel like I have nothing to say. So um, that's the kind of day I'm having. Otherwise, I'm in good spirits. It's just, um, it's a little weird today and that's fine, it happens. I'm gonna make some cookies.
here they are. I've already had a couple. Um, I did use a little bit too much flour this time. Um, I recommend doing actually a little bit less flour than is in the recipe. I will leave the recipe in the comments, by the way. I already have made a note about that, or in the description box, rather. Um, but yeah, these are gluten-free oat flour cookies. I love this recipe. I've tested quite a few, and this is my favorite. It's the most straightforward um, eggs, butter, sugar, oat flour, baking soda, chocolate chips. That's about it. And I make my own oat flour in the in like a spice grinder essentially out of just regular old oats so yeah i love this recipe but i do recommend using just a little bit less flour if you like your cookies a little bit more chewy and gooey as opposed to crunchy and fluffy hello it is now thursday yesterday was kind of a dud um annoying. Lots of tech issues and I just did not get as much done as I hoped to. So today, to pump myself up, <laughs> I've decided to get dressed and try to look a little bit chic, a little bit more put together. This is a men's merino sweater from Uniqlo. Um, it is a nice thin merino so I really like the drape of it and I got it in a large so that it would be oversized and then the pants are also from Uniqlo actually these are 100% cotton they're extremely lightweight I always think that they're linen but they're they're actually cotton they did take me a while to figure out how to style because they are kind of preppy like I feel like I should be on a yacht at Martha's Vineyard or something when I wear them. Um, so I cuff them partially because I'm short, but also just to make it look a little bit more relaxed. Um, I've worn them a lot. I try to wear them when I'm gonna do stuff that's kind of dirty. Like I have bite grease on them and stuff just to make them look a little bit more lived in and less preppy. The shoes I'm wearing are from Mango. I got them in 2019. They are a really good dupe for the Manolo Balanic Ballerie Mew, Mule. Um, those were very much trending at the time, and I was on the hunt for a pair of um, sort of like feminine dainty flats that I could dress up or dress down. And I have quite wide feet, so the round toe ballet flats don't really work for me. They don't create like the line that I want. Um, so when I saw these trending, I was like, oh, that is kind of what I've been looking for. Trends are good for that in the sense that if you know you're already looking for something and then it starts to trend, it's a good time to pick it up because you get a lot more options. But that's the whole outfit. Um, yeah, I wanted to have like a little monochrome moment. I feel like it's really dark and gray in LA today, so I wanted to wear something bright and feel put together even though I'm just around the house. I feel like I am so back. Today I woke up and I said, it's hailing out <laughs> and life feels magical. <laughs> I'm on the up and up, things are doing better. My mental state is better. I'm less frustrated today. And I put together one of my favorite outfits. So I'm gonna show it to you. Merino turtleneck. I really like buying Merino in the spring because it all goes on sale. So I think I got this for like under 30 bucks. I've had it since 2019. I wore it a lot in 2019 um, and it's still going strong. Fantastic house dress slash muumuu. I don't know, my Lola used to wear a ton of muumuus. So I kind of think of her when I'm wearing my house dress. Has pockets and the 
collar has this cute little frill the buttons are abalone i think and then the sleeves i rolled them up but they are just like a normal shirt cuff um but the bottom with the ruffles and the tent shape and the volume is really the selling point for me and then i have my wide leg jeans it's the same as the black pair that i've been wearing a lot but in a mid-wash blue um, I mentioned in last week's vlog that I like to wear really structured wide leg denim under cotton poplin tent dresses because I like the continuation of the line. I like all of the volume that it provides. So this is an example of that. And then on my feet, I have these. <laughs> they are actually um, Rick Owens knockoffs. I didn't realize that at the time that I bought them. I just thought they looked cool, but they are in fact Rick Owens knockoffs. Um, they're a dupe of the like sock sneaker. Um, so it has this lug sole, it has a leather toe and leather counter in the, the like heel bit. And then the sort of upper of the shoe itself is this like nylon sort of scuba material and it goes all the way up over my knee. Um, it is a little bit chilly today in Los Angeles, hence why it was hailing earlier. So exciting. I've lived in LA for like 10 years and I can't recall another time that I've seen it hail here. So um, I think that really did perk me up this morning. But anyway, it's cold. So the wide leg jeans are a little drafty. So it's nice to have that extra layer with the tall scuba boots almost being like a legging underneath. The bag, I'm gonna wear my new purse from Portland Leather Goods. I didn't actually properly show it to you last week. It is entirely leather, this like really pretty pebbled black leather. Oh, look at that. Um, <laughs> brass hardware, uh, which I like because I usually wear gold mostly. And then this really nice adjustable strap. There's so many different lengths which is good for a shorty like me. Um, usually bags are really long on me and the shortest setting is still a bit too long. So um, I really appreciate how adjustable this is. And then it's just a drawstring um, like cinched bag inside. I can't open it with one hand, but you can see the stitching through this side. So that is one big internal pocket, slip pocket. So I keep my cards, my house key, a little compact and stuff in there. I went for this one because I, my evening bag that I use is like a wallet purse and it's really worn out. It no longer holds cards in the card slot, like the leather stretched out too much and the cards fall out. So I was searching for a new bag that could be worn in the evenings and look not too casual. Um, but I also wanted a smaller black purse because I have one right now, but it's quite large So I wanted just like a little dinky one and this fits the bill for on both counts and if I want to be Extra cute I'll wear this hat that I just found on the ground Whenever I wear a hat in LA, I feel like a celebrity who's trying to avoid the paparazzi
Okay, I'm going on a date night with my partner and I think I'm gonna wear this jacket. It was my mom's in the 80s. It's fully leather, <laughs> um, kind of big and over the top with these giant shoulder pads. The silhouette reminds me of some of the stuff that was in the recent Chloe show. Um, just the cape and the big skirt, but I just, I really love the silhouette of it. I've, I haven't worn anything with this dramatic of a silhouette in a while, so I'm kind of working up the guts to do it, but uh, initially I pulled this out because I was looking for a jacket to wear over my dress, um, but they didn't work together. It was just too many layers down at the bottom. <laughs> Charles is scared of the weather, so he's sitting near me. <laughs> um, but lost my train of thought there. But eventually, yeah, it was too many layers. So I decided to take the dress off and just go with this jacket. And I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna wear it out. I'm debating if the jeans are right for it, but um, I don't know. I think, I think it's kind of a vibe. <laughs> what do you think, Charles? Ready. Hello, it is now Thursday of the following week, but I wanted to close out this vlog. Um, I have been very sick, as you can probably tell from my nasally sinusy voice. Um, and I also have a new haircut. I cut my hair this morning, which I will tell you about in next week's vlog. But. I just wanted to come and close out this vlog and say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Um, this week was an interesting one. I uh, wanted to use this film app in my phone. It's called Filmic Pro and I've had it since 2022. I've used it frequently and never had any problems with it. But this past week um, I was having so many tech issues and it kept glitching. It would just randomly stop recording in the middle of the clips. Um, and so many of the talking clips that you saw in this vlog were filmed like two or three times. <laughs> um, and I think there are a lot more cuts because I had to um, splice together like bits and pieces of footage um, after the camera cut it off. So yeah, I, it came together better than I expected, I will say. All in all, an interesting week, um, despite the uh, filming frustrations. And I had a lot of fun putting this one together with some of the music and kind of trying to capture this sort of like dreamy feeling. I'm looking forward to piecing together the coming week's vlog, considering I've been sick for most of it. So um, we'll see what we get up to next week but I think it's gonna be good. I at least have some eclipse footage to show you and a little bit of chat about my haircut, which I'm getting used to. I like it, but I literally just finished cutting it like an hour ago and I kept chipping away at it as it was drying. So it is looking a little bit more piecey or like choppy than I expected, but usually it takes my hair, especially with my wave pattern, it takes it like, um, at least another wash or two after a haircut to start really settling. So we'll see how it goes, but I like it so far. I'm happy with the way that it's looking. Um, and uh, yeah, just thanks again for hanging out with me this week. And I will see you hopefully in the next one. Take care.